I'm concerned that the relationships that have been a, a huge part of community policing may be compromised as a result of using these cameras. Having officers actually on the streets, in the communities, walking the beat, knowing people in the neighborhoods makes a huge, huge difference. You know, I remember this last summer when I saw the film Jersey Boys, and there was a scene when the Frankie, um, the Frankie Valley character um, had broken into a church. He and some of his friends, because of the acoustics, and they wanted to play the church organ in order to really bring out his voice. And a police officer came in, and they all you know, immediately thought, we're in trouble. But the first thing that police officer said was, hey, Frankie, in 11 o'clock curfew, he knew Frankie. He was able to say to him, I know you, I know your parents, I know where you live, I'm not going to arrest you, Frankie, go home because it's past curfew. That's the stuff that is was so important about community policing at its heart. Now certainly the American population has doubled, tripled since the 1950s, 1960s, but again at its core, people, ha people knowing their officers, the officers knowing you, knowing where you live, knowing your parents, those things make a difference. That's when the human aspect of policing can become an important part of policing. When people can use common sense and people can use their good um, knowledge about just how you treat people and how you want people to treat you, when those are what drives the decision making, we see a difference in the outcomes. And that's one of the things that I'm concerned may be lost when we have a mechanism like cameras put in place uh, that can possibly be a barrier between the human contact and how that mechanism is going to be used.